What is up, MFers? Hope you guys are having an amazing freaking day. I'm pretty jacked uh, for today my, myself, because as you can see back behind me, we got a pretty sexy looking little lake back there. Now today we're gonna be experimenting a little bit. You know, I tell you guys every time I do a giveaway that I want you guys to comment down below, let me know something you wanna see in the future. And with the ice fishing stuff, um, there's one recurring theme I keep getting over and over in the comments, and that is to do some fishing with the smallest possible jigs that I can possibly catch a fish on. And so I went out and I picked up some of the smallest things you have ever freaking seen. And so we're gonna take them out and experiment and see if they will actually catch fish. Personally, when I started ice fishing, I couldn't believe how much you had to downsize underneath the ice uh, to actually catch fish out here. And so I think some of these little tiny jigs are gonna work pretty damn well. Now we also did bring some big, you guys know I like to catch big fish. So we brought some big stuff as well. We brought some tip ups with some big live bait. And so we're gonna put those out as well. Who knows, we might catch a freaking giant on those, but let's, uh, let's get out to the lake. I'm gonna drill some holes out here and we're gonna check out some of the baits I got and, and, and kind of rig them up. I'm gonna talk you guys through it. See if we can catch some damn fish. Give me a phone today. Let's do it. All right, trek out onto the ice, doing something that uh, I told you guys I wouldn't be doing for a long time. Um, maybe against my better judgment, who knows, but I am ice fishing by myself today. But the good news is I was just here not that long ago and the ice is very safe. It's thick, it's thicker than anywhere around home, which is actually why I traveled a couple hours today to this lake and I've heard there's giant bass and giant walleye in here. So uh, yeah, we had to check that out. Obviously it would be totally freaking sick if we could get them on the micro jig. But like I said, also gonna set some tip ups up too. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm excited to see what can happen today. All right, like I said, before we get started here with the little tiny itty bitty baits, we're gonna put out some nice big minnows shiners and chubs on tip-ups and try to catch something big because i like big fish good luck buddy okay the old tip em ups are deployed we got four tip-ups out so we got one down there one right there one right there one right there they're all at about the same depth range about 12 to 13 12 to uh, 15 16 feet actually last time i was here they were saying there's giant walleye in this lake actually and somewhere like this this nice little pond dam back here that's a nice divider the deep water right nearby figured it'd be a good place to kind of set those up while we jig around and speaking of jigger let's let's take a look in the ice box let's see some of the smallest let's let's find the smallest jig we can find and try to catch a fish with it oh man we got some freaking we got some tiny ones in there look at these guys little tiny ice fishing baits look at this we got that thing is freaking like can you guys see that that is just like microscopic look at the hook on that guy so small all right so that one's tiny then we got this guy oh mr mr perp get it over here so you can see it mr perp's tiny i don't even know which one's smaller i know one's tungsten one's not that's just ridiculous right there guys let's use one of these two maybe we'll just kind of mix it up i'm gonna start with I kind of like old Mr. Perp. Let's try Mr. Perp. Gotta have that perp. All right, we're gonna tip Mr. Perp with a West, Mr. Waxworm. We're only gonna use about half of this waxworm though, because otherwise it's gonna be like 27 times the size of my jig. This is gonna be nasty. Yep, waxworms are just gross when you tear them apart. <laughs> but that's, I mean, that's like a perfectly splooged worm right there. I think if if there are fish down there and looking at my screen on my fish finder right there, it does appear there are. I think it could happen pretty quick. Look at that. Micro fishing in the ice. <whistles> Someone commented the other day that I need to stop whistling so much in my videos. So I uh, just want to let you guys know I'm not sorry about that. And I'm going to probably whistle a little bit more now. <whistles> Here he comes. <whistles> oh, yeah. There's already fish on the screen. This is good. You know, guys, sometimes I say we're off to a blazing slow start. Something tells me about how many fish on the screen. We're going to actually have a blazing fast start for once. For once in our lives. Oh, God, we got one already. Pow. Look at that guy. You guys want to see Mr. Perp? He's down there somewhere. I don't even know where he's at. This guy freaking choked, cityed Mr. Perp. Tiniest little jig, two-pound test. <whistles> Pow, we're on the board with a giant gg gg tiny one this is fun though guys i tell you that on my regular micro fishing videos it is fun to just catch stuff sometimes especially when we've had kind of sucks around home right now we don't have any ice thick enough to fish so i had to drive two hours away two hours north today obviously i wouldn't want to drive south to ice oh my god i already got a fish on this guy actually does feel a little better no he doesn't i just hooked him in the side of space 
Oh god. How did that even happen? It was like my wax worm is like in his gill. And I cut it out. Look at that. Alright, well as I was saying, as I was rudely interrupted by that guy that ate it on the fall and his giant school of friends down there. I had to drive a long ways away because we have ice on all our lakes, but it's all unsafe. It's it's raining there today, actually. Up here, it's just like a damn snowstorm and blizzarding and winter storm warning and such. Down there, we don't got anything thick enough to fish. So it's good to just get out and catch some fish sometimes. And, and my hope is we'll get something big on the old tip em ups while we're dicking around with these pecker heads. And who knows, you might catch a big one on this too. There we go. Oh my gosh, there are bigs in here. Bigs, look at these guys. We should be keeping these guys for pets. Down comes Mr. Perp. Time for him to get you hooked. Oh God, he crushed my little cricket. Another dirty little cricket eater. Well, Mr. Perp's getting the job done. We might have to, I don't know, scavenge around, see what other kind of fun little baits we can catch some fish on today. Catching fish is fun, right? Yeah. Oh, that's why I'm catching so many bluegill. There's a bluegill on my my cricket holder here. For you guys wondering what's going on down there, so there's the bottom in like 14 feet, and that's like fish, 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 millions and millions. Not millions, probably like 10. But there's like 10 fish on the screen, which is always cool. I mean, we wish they were bigger. We'll have to go move somewhere, to see if we can find some bigger cricket snatchers. I like this weather though, man. This is like the first time in ice fishing this year where it's been overcast and like windy and cloudy and rainy and winter stormy and nasty. Usually that's when you can get some bigs to buy. I, that's what I'm really hoping with those tip ups. Got him. Oh, this one's a mega giant. Mega giant. <laughs> Don't mind me, just grown man out here talking to himself on the ice. I like it. Yep what I do for a living, talk to myself. All right, watch this. This is what I like to do to piss them off. So I'm gonna drop it down right by their faces. They're on the screen right now. Dirty little cricket eaters. All right, Herb saying, coming down. We're gonna drop them all the way to the bottom. It's gonna go past their faces. And they're gonna be like, what was that? But they don't wanna eat it off the bottom. So when it gets to the bottom, boom, on the bottom. We're just gonna slowly jiggle it up through the whole pot of them and they're gonna lose their damn minds and crush it. It's gonna be hilarious, watch this. Boom. Got him. Every time. Every time. And he freaking choked it. Look at that. Choke. Shitty. Choke shitty. Okay, one more. These peckering heads. We're switching locales. Because I want to catch a big. Boom. Freaking crushed it. Pow. That's, ooh, that's a cool looking guy. Look at him. That's like a hybrid dude. A hybrid between a pecker head and a cricket stealer they call it a cricket head bye cricket head okay time to move we need we need some bigs now guys we, let's let's go find some bigs there we go now we're uh, we're in the forest a little bit here get it down let's switch now uh, let's leave mr perp on just to see holy freaking tree city down there or fish city one of the two gotta feel like it's tree city since we are uh in the jungle oh good news there's giants in the new spot. Giant! Oh, just kidding. Still babies. You guys probably love these videos where all I catch is three inch bluegill. Man, it must be freaking enlightening. Okay, one more fish. And we're switching colors because I'm sure it's going to make a huge difference. Oh, man. This one was so big, I didn't know he was on here. Yeah, that's a tank. Who needs fishing for trophy bass, walleye, other species, catfish, you know, when you can catch g g g giants with that guy. You know, I'm being a condescending douchebag this entire video, but the fact of the matter is, I should just be happy I'm catching fish, I'm out fishing, I'm not sitting behind a computer doing editing, even though I'm in the middle of a winter storm right now. I don't freaking hate it. It is fun to pull back on some stuff, of course. Let's change up colors and jigs, see if we can keep the old fish catching rolling. And then I'm gonna keep moving around a little bit. There's this big ass main lake point. Looks like it needs to be hit. So you might be going there next. All right, look at this guy. I mean, that's just, that's stupid small right there. I don't even know if I can get my freaking two pound test through the eyelid of that guy. I suppose we gotta try. Well, there he is, old big. I know this is gonna be a good one because it's got, uh, it's got four spots on that side four spots on that side so it's even the fish will know that and it's got this red thing on it 
That'll really draw them in. That's how you know it's a good jig. Come on, go down there, you little freaking cricket. All right, cricket stealers. Let's see how you like old Whitey. I don't know if you guys can hear it raining, but it freaking blows out here right now. I'm not gonna mince words. It's like 30 degrees. Somehow it's raining, not snowing. Although it has snowed a little bit too, so it's a little bit of both. And I'm pretty hot right now. It feels like a sauna, basically, but opposite, opposite day. Good God. About pulled the rod out of my hand. By pulled the rod, I mean I felt him bite. He, he, this guy was not gonna pull the rod out of my hand. I was just about to say, old Whitey has definitely been much less impressive than, than Perp. Old Whitey's struggling there, but hey, he just caught one finally. We might have to just switch hold. I think they get a little wise to you, honestly, after about 392 of their friends get caught out of one hole. They get a little wise to you. These are smart fish here, guys. Brilliant. Oh, now one thing I'm, I'm being serious here guys one thing that sucks about whitey here is there it's just got the smallest hook in north america which i mean even when my jigs are small ice fishing i like them to have a decent sized hook so i feel like if they suck in my cricket i'm at least gonna get a piece of them this guy's hook is just like it's tiny so i have missed a few bites on old whitey you gotta be shitting me See this? I don't like this. The hook is too freaking small. Stupid. And I don't like the spot. Let's go move to our big fish spot. I need to catch something big. It's freaking nasty and rainy and gross and all I can catch is three inch freaking bluegill so this place has been disappointing to me. We've been out here for a couple hours now and I, I don't know how much longer I'm going to stay out. My camera gear is getting freaking soaked. I'm getting soaked. It's freaking it's like raining now. It's been snowing on and off. Like I always tell you guys, it, it's good to get out. Good to experiment. Good to try a new thing. I never tried jigs this small before so micro fishing uh, through the ice has been an absolute freaking success. We're going to move to one more place it's in narnia right now not really looking forward to it we're gonna make a long long walk and we're gonna fish like this big ass main lake point that looks it looks super super sexy get our tip up spread out over that area if that doesn't work then uh that's it we're going home uh, because this is freaking cold it's nasty even when the weather doesn't uh doesn't cooperate the fish are small you never know when a big one's gonna bite so let's make a move hopefully make that happen Oh, we got to tip up with a spinner. Got him. What do we have here? Oh, hell yes. Finally, something happened and it was this big bass. I just moved out here to this point. So freaking sick. Look at that one, guys. Hell yes. Freaking tank. I mean, that's like a... I don't know, it's probably close to a four pound bass. Old Mr. Shiner, right down his throat. Barely got a hook too, look at that. Just moved out to this point actually. And um, I don't know, I was not feeling good about this at all, to be honest. Um, just have this one tip up set out. But I think we're gonna set some more after that guy. Get him back in the water. Yes, that really boosts morale. <laughs> We're gonna get some tip-ups rolling now. Well guys, not even sure how it's possible, but I freaking set tip-ups in that same spot where I caught that fish, that really nice bass, for the last like 90 minutes, and I didn't get another freaking bite. Ice fishing has not been friendly to me lately when it comes to trying to kind of pattern things, figure things out, and duplicate things that are working. With that being said, I can't complain. That was a super nice bass I caught. Probably close to four pounds, which is an awesome bass through the ice. Hand lining them in um, on a big old shiner. Those shiners freaking work, man. Go, go pick out some of those shiners if you like to ice fish. They definitely get big, big bites. Like I told you guys, this was kind of an experiment today, trying out those little tiny itty bitty jigs. I brought the tip ups and the big live bait along to hopefully be able to catch a big one while we were jigging and we did just freaking that. I was gonna stay on the ice a lot longer, but uh, I don't know if I've told you guys this, but since my accident when I was in the water for a really long time, my fingertips are, are still numb and my hands get super cold super easily. And since it's raining, it's cold, it's windy out here. Uh, yeah, I don't have a lot of feeling in my hands right now. So I need to get in the truck, warm those guys up. If you like this video, please go subscribe to Melican Fishing and I will catch you guys very, very soon. I'm out of here. Peace. I'm not sorry. I can't help this love like mine. <laughs> I'm not sorry. I can't stop with a love like mine. I can't stop with a love like mine. I can't stop.
Cause I'm like mine